I'm Christina Smith, as you know. Um, I'm a fourth generation Californian, and I've actually been with the Craft in America project from the start. I was in the exhibition and, and in the book, and I'm very proud of that, of Carol's project, and, and I thank her. I don't know where she went, but. Um, the pieces that you're seeing here, um, I made the, the, in 2016. One was, one was done a little bit before it, but I tweaked it. <laughs> And um, they're all titled in enfranchisement, and they're all about the right to vote. Um, I had met, um, what I'm finding in my work, I've done political work for years, and what I'm finding in my work is that um, I'm revisiting <laughs> issues like the right to vote. And so on these, um, the top one, all of them have uh, these wire configurations that I live, I grew up in um, San Joaquin Valley where they have tule fog which is very frightening. And um, so I was going to put the wording in the letters in the Thule fog um, as, a, as these things that racism and all the things that happen, they're coming out of the Thule fog. And unfortunately, recently, they're coming out a lot more. Um, it's shocking. Um, but the top one has HB 589 on it. And it's the, the, um, the um, North Carolina, a bill that was actually was making this as it was sh as it was ruled uh, uh, illegal, and then the wonderful governor of of, <laughs> of North Carolina took it to the Supreme Court. So just when I was fi finishing it, they stayed the um, appellate court decision. So um, I have the tags on each piece. Of, they're sort of they're sort of like chained and weighed down. Um, the, the bottom one is, has 93% on it and had to do with, there was that frightening part where Donald Trump was going on about how um, they, he was going to send his people out and it sounded like they were going to go out with guns to make sure it, all the voting was legal because he was in Philadelphia or he was in, yeah, he was in Pennsylvania and he was saying how <laughs> Romney didn't get any vote. I'm good, I'm good, thanks. And, 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 and it, it, you know, he didn't get any votes at all, and he got like 2% or 3%, and, and so I put the 93% because there were those that maybe didn't vote, but, um, so that's that one. And then the middle one has Wyoming, and that's, um, that's enfranchisement by uh, gender, and it has engraved Wyoming. And in my research, I've, I'm a member of the League of Women Voters, and I read a lot, and I do read the newspaper. <laughs> um, I also read online a lot, but, um, but I found out that, that Wyoming was the first state in 1890 for women to get the vote. And, um, and when they were going to join the union, um, the union, us, <laughs> the United States said, you can't join the union if women have the vote. And they said, well, we'll wait 100 years because we're not joining the union without bringing our women. And so that's what that piece is about. So my, my work has been political and, and, and personal narrative throughout. Um, I work in brooch form. I work in neck pieces. I also do tea pots and tea services. Um, LACMA has one of my tea services through Lois. Um, she was instrumental in, in collecting it there. And then I'm in her collection too. Thank you. Thank you.